Hello everyone, welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new things that could possibly be on your HO Railroad Empire today. Alright, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're kind of going to have a revolving door of locomotives and various unit trains that we put together. So, let's get started with train number one. If you take a look at here, I have here from Walther's this NW2 Phase 2 diesel switcher engine from the Union Railroad, and that is a really great looking design there. I like switcher engines. I think they add a little bit of character to it, and of course, we all can't have the mainline uh, diesel locomotives that we have. We gotta have some switching engines there for moving cars around or maybe even occasional helping along with the mainline trains. So we got this guy here, and then of course, this particular train is pulling some high cube 60 foot box cars again from Walther's, and as you can see here, I had the Burlington in Santa Fe. I have the TTX. That is a very popular looking design. I have the Union Pacific and of course I got the Kansas City Southern de Mexico. Okay, so I got a really great looking design of high cube boxcars. Now these are very economical uh, cars to add to your layout because they um, retail for $29.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $23.98. 99 and these are great looking cars as a matter of fact if you take a look at what we have here in terms of the detailing you can see for a very economical friendly car you do have a lot of various detailing there i do have metal wheels here which make these things glide really nicely and these are great looking cars to add to your collection also with having them in let's see if i can put on the track there also, with having them being at a very low cost price, you can buy a whole bunch of them and create a really neat unit train to add to your collection. So, as I said, I have this NW2 switcher on here. Let's start her up, shall we? All right. Let's turn on the horn. The bell. Turn that headlight on, shall we? Alright. And away the high cube boxcar train goes. I wonder what train's coming in next. Away she goes, and now arriving on track number one, here is my tank car train. So here I had the Indiana Harbor Belt NW2 Phase 5 diesel switcher, and I particularly like this one because if you zoom in there, you actually see the Operation Lightsaber uh, sticker on the cab there. I think that's a really neat little design there. Another new thing that sets this particular engine apart from the other one that you just saw is this one actually has two uh, dual headlights as opposed to the other one, which is just a single beam. Now, this particular engine here is pulling some brand new tank cars from a company called American Limited. And these are really cool looking tank cars here from the Santa Fe series. They are called the GATC tank cars as delivered and these are really great looking tank cars so you can, as you can see these are all santa fe cars but each one of them has a subtle difference and they have a whole bunch of different ones of different designs various uh different styles paint schemes whatever you would want to simulate a real great unit train on your railroad now these particular cars sell for 64.95 we're selling them here for 47.99 these are well-made cars, and as you can just see, all the detailing that goes in there, all the, I like the particular, take a look at the little hazard sign that you have there. I mean, there is a lot of really great things that are going on in these cars. And I don't just have Santa Fe, I also have a couple other road names to show you, such as Northern Pacific, Southern Pacific, to name a couple and I literally have a warehouse full of multiple different numbers so say if you like a particular model design 
but you want to get a couple of different ones to go along with, say, this guy? Well, I got about six different numbers that go along with the same car to add to your unit train. Once again, I do have nice metal wheels to have these glide on. Even has the nice little air hoses there. I mean, these are really well done cars and they add a lot of detail to your railroad. All right. So the Harbor Diesel engine, uh, the Indiana Harbor Belt rather, is adding a really cool train here. I like what we have here. Well, let's see what we have coming around the bend. All aboard. Alright, as you can see, arriving on track one again, we have another MW2 face by switcher. Pulling a 54 PS three bay cover hopper train. Well, oh, that's a weapon. Stop right here, see if we got the whole train on. Well, let's talk about these hopper cars first. As you can see, I have a bunch of different row names, and of course, you know me, I like trains that have a lot of different colors. We got the Sioux line there. Kind of a classic design here, but I do like the blue stripe that we have there, adding a little bit of detail to it. I got the Cargill here, and that is a really cool looking uh, shield design there. I like that car. You got the Santa Fe, classic design. We have the Milwaukee Road, and one of my personal favorite railroads, a very underappreciated railroad, the Chicago and Northwestern. Now, these particular three-bay hopper cars, again, are selling from Walters, and these cars go uh, typically sell for $27.98. We're selling them for $22.38. Once again, you're getting a very economical car to go on your layout, and you could get a whole bunch of different versions uh, to add to your train and make a nice long unit train. So, so far we have a nice 60Q boxcar train, we got a tank car train, and now we got a three bay uh, hopper train. We got a lot of cool trains that we can build on our railroad. Let's divert our attention back to another one of our NW2 switchers. As you see, this one is the EJ and E, and that is a really cool looking design. Kind of a, a, a Earth tone, it almost looks like a reverse Union Pacific color, actually. Uh, once again, I have a single headlight, so you can see the subtle variations that these companies do to slip these engines apart from others. So that is a really cool looking design. All right, and our final train now arriving on track number one. Let's do a little highball action here, show you what these engines can do. And we have here a really nice looking unpainted version of the NW2 Switcher. And this is a specific design. If you wanted to add your own subtle touches to the engine, you can uh, do that with this particular model here. And this NW2 is pulling some 57 mechanical reefer cars again from Walters, and these are cool looking cars as well. We got the Milwaukee Road. We got the Burlington Northern. We got the Santa Fe. One of my favorite cars, we got the Pacific Fruit Express, and we actually have two variations of that, different paint schemes. And then, of course, we got the classic Union Pacific. These cars retail for $31.98, but we're selling them at Yankee Dabbler for $25.58. So these are cool looking cars, and once again, if you want to make a nice long unit train, Get a whole bunch of these and you're going to be the envy of everyone on your railroad. And as I said, this particular engine, this uh, NW2, is unpainted so you can design your own. As a matter of fact, one of our employees that work here at Yankee Dabla, Cody, came up with his own design. And, uh, you know, hey, whatever floats your boat, I think that's a great looking design. He, he's really going places there, all right? So look at that. So all of these engines and all these rolling stock items can be found on our website at yankeedabbler.com. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the price for the NW2s. If I didn't, these are selling for $199.99. We're selling them at Yankee Dabbler for $149.99. 
$99. That's a great deal to get for a economical, friendly diesel locomotive that has, that has D, uh, DCC sound, everything that you would want to run on your railroad. So let's have a little run session and see what these guys look like in action. I don't know about you, but that's what I call fun. Alright, so you might be thinking you're set with track, but I think you'll be switching your train of thought when you take a look at these Walther switches that we just had in from uh, uh, in stock. If you can see here, I had the number fours, I got the rights and the lefts. I got the number fives, rights and lefts. And then, of course, I had these monsters right here, the number tens, both in the right and a left now of course i'm not going to bother you uh with a bunch of prices rather i'm just going to refer you to our website yankeediablo.com and you can see how much these things are and how many you want on your layout and speaking of something that everyone needs on their layout we all need a brand new zephyr i'm sure these are brand new in stock we uh stock these pretty regularly and they seem to go out the door so these are very popular uh systems to have on your layout we are selling them here for $174.95. These are fantastic systems to use. That's actually what I was using to run ARG trains today. Uh, it's very easy to use, very user-friendly. And uh, yeah, I really recommend it. And you better order these before these go out because you can see my pile over there. It used to be a lot bigger. And probably in a couple weeks, that's going to be gone. So if you want to get one, order yours now. All right, as always, I want to thank everyone for tuning in and checking out what's new here at Yankee Dabbler. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, I don't know what you're waiting for. Literally, everybody's doing it. As a matter of fact, if he gets 100 subscribers this week, he's going to be auctioning off Cody's drawing here. Retail value, it's really priceless. It really is. But if we get 100 subscribers, this is going to be going on sale. So check that out. All right, and as always, thank you for checking out uh, our stuff here at Yankee Dabbler. Where Every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.